How long were you blind? Since 2004. And now what has happened to you? Yesterday night, her eyes were open. And they're perfect now. She, she can see them. both eyes. To what the dos yeux? No, to what the Sasserman? She can see from only one eye. So now the other eye still needs to be healed. Okay. Put your hand over the eye that still needs to be healed. This one. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask that you would open my sister's eye. Lord, you opened one eye. Now I pray both eyes. I command this right eye to open. 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 Be healed in Jesus' name. Now, Mama, look at me. Can you see me? How is your right eye? Just one eye. Only one eye. The other one still can't see. Cover it again. Put your hand over it. Lord, in Jesus' name, I command this eye to open. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. 2020 vision. 2020 vision in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Mama, look at me. Look at me. What do you see? Oui, 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 oui. Je te vois. Je te vois. Oui, oui. See me now. Tu me vois. Tu me vois. You see me? Oui, oui. Tu es blanc. Oui. You are a white man. Two eyes. 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 Both eyes. Let oui. Us oui. Oui, Papa. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus healed before. Cover this one. And now, can you see me? Oui. If, if you can see me, catch me. Tell her to catch me. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't Jesus wonderful? Oh, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for touching this woman. I bless you in Jesus' name. Isn't Jesus wonderful? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha, HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom, fellow laborers. Shalom to the uh, families and so forth in the truth. I want to go in this video here, um, which is quite disturbing to me uh, in a wake of this uh, viral outbreak. Okay, uh, spoken with a uh, couple of Christians, so-called Christians, <clears throat> some who have heard the truth, and you know what? They're meant to go back to sleep. But the disgusting part is that I feel through the spirit that's bothersome. As all these Christians all of a sudden have faith now. Okay. They all have faith. Now they're all righteous. They all claim that they got Jesus. They don't need masks and gloves. Right. <laughs> That's what they say now. Right. But a month ago. Or two months ago. They was in line getting vaccines. Vaccinations. Okay. They all claim that the law is done away with. That they ain't got to do nothing. But eat pork and shrimp and go into the churches and believe in God. Well, how the hell do you believe? How do the Most High know you believe in, in, in the Most High and the Son, man? And you ain't doing a damn thing about it. How is that? That's false. That's fake. That's why I believe Jeremiah 23 says, well, Woe to you pastors, you hypocrites, and so forth. You know, somewhere around there. I think Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe unto the pastors. You know, woe unto you means destruction unto you. You got this T.D. Jakes. I was looking at some of his, uh, what, what he had to say, which I've done videos on him. But you know who getting on him? Other, Israelite, other Israelites. Okay. And all he's trying to tell you to do is sit still, behave, and trust in God. 
That's their message. They ain't telling you to fear in the most high. They're saying to trust in God. The same thing you see on your money. Okay? But these guys are telling you that all you got to do is believe in God. You know what that's like? That's why the scriptures compare us to the you know dealing with a wedding, waiting for the bridegroom. That's like going to a wedding. You don't so-called really love the person. You don't even like the person. But you'll walk down that so-called aisle and put that ring on their finger and, and dress up and be flashy, knowing you don't really love the person. How is that person supposed to know, man? You're getting in a, a joint union with this person, and you don't even really, you haven't showed any kind of love. You haven't done anything, okay? You haven't done anything to show the, your partner that you love them. And this is the same thing with Yahweh man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the one you call God and Jesus. You have done nothing uh, to, uh, uh, at the uh, the so-called chapel, okay? You've done nothing uh, waiting on the Lord, okay? Waiting on Yahweh Shah to return, Jesus, as you call it. You all of a sudden is all righteous and holier than thou now, okay? And that's what it is with these healers why haven't these healers okay heal coronavirus man why haven't you healers done anything with the coronavirus why haven't you uh, uh lined up droves of people where are all the healers at man where are all the christian healers at all of them with that 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 wet grimy sweaty palm you know and this is what jake get okay for this idumian pastor sitting up there coming into Africa or whatever, their country telling them that they can heal people, man. And our people fall for it. This is disgusting. But that's that's Jake. And I, I'd imagine some of them are heathens. I, I don't know who the hell they are. They look like, you know, heathens. But our people fall for that, man. You know, that's the whole point. Okay, this is uh, Romans 6 and... Uh, 14 for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace okay why is paul saying this because of balance okay you got a lot of these christians saying see it says that you don't have to keep the law eat the crabs and the shrimp eat everything well mark 12 and 29 says love the lord with all your heart which which is quoted from the uh the the book of the books of moses okay or books of the most high that he gave to Moses. The first commandment. So you mean to tell me. That you love the Lord so much. That you can avoid eating shrimp. You can avoid eating crabs. You can avoid adultery if you can. There's a whole lot of things that you can avoid. But you make an excuse to do it anyway. Because the Lord said don't worry about it. Do it anyway. Verse 15 it says. What well, then <laughs> shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace. Yahweh forbid. Okay? God forbid. You know why? Because Jake... See, Jake will use the law to, to his um, privilege. And he'll not do the law to his privilege. You know? Jake will use the law as, as, as tyranny, so, so to speak. And then Jake will do... Uh, um, Jake won't do the law. To make excuses to do wickedness. So bottom line is you're still under the law. You may not be able to keep the law fully. But you're supposed to keep it to the best of your ability. Just as I gave the example. If you're marrying someone. You will want them to love you to the best of your ability. You know they can't do certain things. Because they're not able to do it. You won't hold that against them. But if they're able to show you the love that you want, you know, if they're able not to commit adultery, okay, if they're able to help with the household, then they're doing the best they can. This is what Paul is saying. You're still under the law, just do it the best you can. You, it's not going to save you, but in a sense, uh, following it to the best of your ability is what's going to save you with faith. Okay, it's faith that's going to save you. 
But that doesn't mean throw off the law. Okay? Let's go to James. James 2 and 18. It says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me the faith without thy works. And that's what I was just saying. And I will shew you thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Okay? You got these elites? Yeah, they tremble. Okay? They're, they're afraid. that This goes to show you that a lot of you Christians, that the, the people, the rulers of darkness, have way more faith than you. They pray harder than you. They, they follow their wickedness better than you so-called follow righteousness. But wilt thou know, but wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Okay? So he didn't just say, well, Lord, I have faith. You know? He did it by showing the works. You know? When he said, hey, go uh, sacrifice your son. He didn't say by faith I, I, I can sacrifice him. You know? It was by work. Basically, the Most High said, show me the works. Okay? It says, seeing thou, thou hast how faith wrought with his works. And by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled with uh, which saith Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of Yahweh ye see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only okay so you got a lot of these Christians running around so called faith healers so called faithful they not scared of the coronavirus look the reason why we not scared of it, because we fear the Lord, okay? You guys are fearing man. You Christians are fearing, you're fearing a man. You're not fearing the Lord. That's why you're saying what you're saying, because you truly don't fear the Lord, okay? That's why you're saying what you're saying, because you, in your spirit, you know you're doing wrong. The men of the Lord have been out there with faith and works, okay? Out there on the hedges, in the cold, I'll say Great Millstone, man. And it, it maybe some other spinoff groups of Great Millstone. We've been out there in the cold in the summer, week in, week out. What happened to your churches, man? Where are your preachers at? Where are your faith healers? Why everybody ain't lining up trying to get healed for the coronavirus, man? Where are they at? Where are the people at? We out there Saturday doing the pushing the Lord's work. Everybody gone. Where was your preachers? Where they at, man? They ain't nowhere to be found, okay? It says, likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she received the messengers, okay? When she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way. For as the body is without the spirit is dead, okay? Because you can have a body. If it don't have a spirit, it ain't nothing. So faith without works is dead also. So you got these Christians out here running around. I ain't worried about it. If it, I got Christ Jesus on my side. What are you worried about? I heard an old Christian say that. His wife told him, don't worry, you got Christ Jesus. Okay, that's good. Glad you have faith, but you're worshiping the wrong Jesus. Okay? But these are the same people to say, when a vaccine come out, line up and take that vaccine. These are the same people who would get inoculated, man. These are the same people who would do nothing according to the Bible. Righteous. They will have uh, Christmas dinners. They will, Easter is coming up. They will worship the goddess Ishtar. The symbol of fertility. That's why the uh, uh, Tammuz was fond of the uh, rabbit. And a rabbit had eggs. The eggs is a symbol of fertility. When rabbits don't lay eggs, they're mammals. So, but this is all the madness. They'll dress their children up at Halloween costumes. They'll put a big ass Christmas tree up. Knowing that nothing, none of this has to do with uh, uh, 
the Most High and His Son. But these are the same fakers, and we can understand how uh, marriages in America don't work because everybody's phony. These are the same people with all these different ideologies and doctrines in their mind, and they'll walk down an aisle and marry somebody knowing that they don't even really, they're not faithful. What I mean by that, they don't have pure love for the person. You know why? Because they don't have true love for the Most High, man. They don't love the Most High and His Son. Okay? As a lot of guys, Lord willing, I'll get into videos in the future, that drops out and bring their own doctrines. They're doing the same madness. You know why? Because they never truly believed. They never truly had faith. Okay? Now, they might have had works, but then they didn't have faith. It goes hand in hand. You got to have the faith and you got to have the works, man. But this is why our people will continue to line up and go to these preachers and listen for good words and fair speeches to deceive the hearts of the simple, man, as the book of Romans say. Okay? Anyway, that's pretty much all I have on that, you know. Where are you faith healers at, man? And all you people that claim to be faithful to God, where were you when everything was going smoothly? Why would you put the work in for the Most High, man, and His Son? Because you're all phony, okay? You're all phony. That's all I have on that, Shalom.